Hello there, watchy people. How is it going? Welcome along to another episode of My Garage. Um, I've recorded this last week because I am currently on holiday, uh, having a nice time with uh, with my wife for our twentieth wedding anniversary. Uh, we are currently in Tenerife. I say, I mean, obviously, I, well, I, I currently I'm at home recording this, but this is a week ago. So, um, while you're watching this, I am at Tenerife uh, with my wife. And uh, yeah, no vlog for that trip because it's just for me and her. I might, I'm going to take my GoPro because we're going to do a little bit of snorkeling. So I might, I might just um, have some videos of fish or something that maybe I'll put up on, I don't know, Instagram or maybe a short on here or something. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But um, I'm not going to do any like vlogging stuff or any of that. I'm just going to have a nice holiday with my wife. Um, so yes. Uh, we are at a good position with our ramp truck. It is uh, now rolling, thankfully. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, we can we can start building it up now. I don't know what the next thing to do is. I've done suspect. I guess brakes. Brakes is probably the next thing to do. Um, so yeah, let's let's do that. I suppose it makes make sense, doesn't it? Let's pop. Uh, this that was actually remarkably well placed given I couldn't see where it was going there I'll try not to knock this now because the last thing I want is for it to come off again are you you're as far out as you can go alright are you yeah that's underneath I don't know how well balanced this whole thing's going to be yeah looks like it's all in the right place that's cool, it's off the ground, that's all we need. Uh, we now need the wrench, where have I put the wrench? There it is. Man, every time. So this is the front of the truck, so let's pull the wheels off. We can choose some wheels as well uh, on this stage. So we'll get them down there. The tires, those tires look okay. Oh, this has got the dually thing on, has it? Or is it? Oh, it's just an adapter to get the the big wheels, I think, that one. Cool. Well, that can go there. Then, um, one, two, three, four, five. Wow, okay, everything came off on that. Why did all of this come off? Oh, there's no axle. There's no axle to hold it in. No hub or anything. Um... Is this all completely undone? Should drop out now, right? Yes, there it is. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Uh, so we need screwdriver. Oh, there's one up there. Let's take the one that's not in the thing. For goodness sake, spring compressor, stay away. Right, uh, loosening, we're already loosening, that's good. There we are. Now that comes apart. So, front hub is no good. Right, um, our front thing looks fine. Our axle looks fine. So what else have we got going on here? Steering stuff as well. Let's let's stick with the brakes, but we do we do need to put I think an axle in first. So we'll get rid of you because you're in a terrible condition. And then yeah, I'll get the actual caliper off. And then this doesn't look great either. So we'll take that off. Are you off? Oh, there's one more. There we go. Why are you not coming free? One, two, three. They're all loose. Oh, do I need to remove this whole thing? Yeah, there we go. Right, so you need to to be ditched and replaced. I'll carry a front left. Uh, the front right one looks to be fine. Uh, is this all under suspension? 
Should be hub carrier front left. Beautiful. <clears throat> so you can go back on now and tighten up. And then we can get another um, tie rod as well. Doop, 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 doop. Right, what does a tie rod come under? There it is. 92 bucks. There we are. Tighten that one down. Beautiful. Now we need front axles. Uh, what are you? Your drive shaft. Front. Yeah, we haven't got any front axles. Man, this is going to be expensive. Rear axle, front. Oh, it's a half axle, isn't it? <clears throat> Hub rear, that one is, I think. I think it's the, the half axle that we're looking at. I might buy one and check it. That doesn't want to go in. Right. Um, are we... Yeah, there's no choice of like pumpkin on the front. It just is what it is. So we should be all right with that, I think. Um So yeah, I think I think the axles ought to go in. I really thought it was them though. They don't seem long enough. Maybe these are the ones that go at the back. I don't know. It does look like that, doesn't it? No, that's bigger. That's a lot bigger. I'm confused. I'm very confused. Also, there's a short one and a long one. Okay. So... How does that go then? Got drive shafts, front axle, hub rear, hub front. Do I need to have the hub in first? Is that is that a thing? Uh it doesn't look like there's anything else. Come on. Right, we've done that. Now does that go in? No, it still doesn't go in. I feel like that's for, for non... That hub is for non-driven ones. Do we just put four hub rears in? Is that how it works? I've already built one of these trucks, so I don't know why... It's not working. Let's buy one. And see what happens. No, that doesn't go in either. Am I supposed to put it in before this stuff? Is it just an order of operations thing? That one doesn't go. Does that one go now? Yes, there we go. It's order of operations. Right. Excellent. I, I'm glad I was right. Like I was, I, I could have sworn I was, and then it just didn't work. I was like, okay, so now I'm doubting myself again. Right, so that's no use to us um, for the time being. But we need another half axle. There we go. It it was confusing because. Um, because the carriers were already there. Why can't I not see that? There we go. Gonna co oh, I can't. I've got to take the steering thing off again. Well, actually, it let me do it last time. Let me do it on the other side. So why not this side? 
It's it's sidest. Come on. There we go. Now that one comes off. Now the half axle goes in. Now that goes back on. And now that goes back on. There we go. Cool. Okay. Um, now we do need the front hubs. I mean, that, oh, that is the right one. I thought that was a broken one then. Uh, hub is on. That's cool. Then we need the uh, brake disc. Uh, grab you for that. Oop. There we go. So we need a front uh, hub and a brake disc for this one. Uh, hub front. There it is. And then brake disc front. And we will be back in good shape again. Uh, this. Nice. I probably should have uh, put this a bit higher on the lift so it's at uh, head height. So it's a bit more comfortable to work on. Oh, missed. Let's do that. There we go. That's a bit, a little bit better. There we are. And then we need you. Cool, cool. Right. Uh, you can go back over there for now. So that's that part sorted. Now we need... Um, to have a look at this brake caliper. In fact, oh, one of those typical, isn't it? One bad brake pad. I mean, you should replace, always replace um, both of them. But you know, this is a game. Uh, what are you? Brake pads front, inside one. Are you? You're not the right ones, are you? No. You're like a motorbike one or something. Teeny. Right. <clears throat> okay, um, oh, what's this? Brake pads front, inside two. Are you the right one? You look like the right one. But you're not the right one. Really? That looks the same to me. Oh, it's a lad one. Okay. I wish you could put these back inside the box. That's really annoying. Okay. Is the box does the box say what it's for? No, it doesn't. So bizarre. Okay, right. So we're buying another box of brake pads for the B200. <clears throat> There we go. You go in there, perfect. And now you can go back on Is it the front or the back. It's the back. Uh, there's the wrench. We come around this side and one, two, perfect. And now we need a whole another caliper. Caliper front right. Uh, down here. One, two. One, two. Come on. Why are you being such a pain? There we are. Right, on the back. And. Oh. <laughs> I was like, I had my wrench right there. Then it was gone again. Cool. Okay. Sweet. We have those back on. That is fine. Now we need um, brake cables, I guess. Might as well put the, the pigtails on. Whatever they're called. One, two. And I know I can carry these. Like I could put them in my backpack. But I feel like for the distance, it's just not worth pressing multiple buttons. We're right here. Oh, there we are. That 
goes on. So brakes are now sorted. Um, <clears throat> I guess we could do the steering while we're here. What is up with these? Man, all of these things are going crazy. I didn't realise I hadn't tightened them down, but uh, it's so funny that it just floats them there. Can I? Yeah, it doesn't actually care if I interact with them again. I thought it might bump them back into place, but that's so funny. Um, yeah, I might as well do steering rack while I'm up here. Or should I finish the rear brakes first? Uh, I might do that. Let's go up a little bit more. Right. Uh, loosening. One, two, three, four, five. Get you on the ground. Actually, let's put you over there so that I can walk around. One, two, three, four, five. I do actually really like these wheels. I might just keep them. <clears throat> Okay, um, break shoes, are they going to be a, uh, actually I don't know if they look fine or not, it's hard to tell. Uh, we are missing a drum though by the looks of it. Come on, there we go, pinged off. Yeah, they, those do not look fine. Okay, brake shoes. Do we have any brake shoes? Don't know if that's the sort of thing we'll have or not. <clears throat> right. Uh, doesn't look like we've got any. Okay. So we need brake shoes and one drum. Brake shoes. Uh, drum rear. Cool. Start with this one then, and one, two. Wait, yeah, they do look different. That's fine. For a second, I thought they looked exactly the same. Like I don't want broken ones. You come off. You come off. And then ping. I'm amazed that those didn't fall off. Ping, beautiful, and then brake drum back on. Oh, tighten you. And then these ones look totally fine, don't they? That one looks a bit slim. Maybe, maybe not. I think they're fine. Uh, why can I not put that on? What's stopping me putting that on? It looks the same to me. Do they need reseating or something? Oh, the brake line's on. Is that a problem? Uh... Where's my wrench? Where's my wrench? Oh my word, this place has got so messy again. Hang on. I thought I used that. Apparently I had a middle frame brace already. Okay. Fine. In you go. Flipping egg. So many extra parts kicking around. Uh, where is my wrench gone? I swear I had it. Where is, where is it? I use it to put the brakes on up here. And then what? Is it under the drum? No? No? This could go in here. Uh, oh, there it is. Wow. <laughs> So, so bad at uh, seeing things. There we are, get rid of you. Now will you go on? No, apparently it's nothing to do with that. What? What am I missing? Right. 
There we go, that's come out. Let's uh, take out the brake pads and redo them. Are they worn? Let's compare it to a new one. Oh, there was only two in there. Uh, all right, well, let's take that drum off again. This has been off like three times now or something. Come on. Why don't we take it? That looks fine to me. Right? Yeah, those are the same. These are the same. Oh, but one of them's now like completely uh, apart from the brakes. There we go. Now will you go on? No. What is the deal here? Oh, I see what it is. I've just noticed. And I guess you guys have noticed as well. Probably like ages ago you noticed. Yeah. So that the the only thing that remained of the uh drum was the screw. <laughs> that's so bizarre. And now it's just disappeared. Man, that's crazy. That's super crazy. Okay, right, let's get uh two more brake lines then. <laughs> I can't believe that. Oh, there's one there is a thing there. Didn't even realise. I thought it didn't have one. Right. Oh. There we go, get you off. You on. And then head back in and grab the other one. Oh, there it is. Sometimes they're really hard to see. Right, where'd you go? You go there. Nice. Okay. That's uh, brakes rebuilt all round. We don't have any uh, brake, main brake line yet because we haven't got a, a booster. I'll do that at the same time as I do that. Um, so these can now go... Oh, I stood up there when I shouldn't have done. In the back of the truck. Uh, I don't think I'll get anything for them, but you never know. Always worth a shot, isn't it? Um, what else? I need to, like, get some shelves with parts for different vehicles so that I know which rack to look on for which things. Chat, but that's okay, that's not even for this vehicle. So that can go. Right. Okay. We're in some sort of place now. Um these are just hilarious. They they keep catching my attention. Anyway, uh steering. What do we do for steering then? Does that come under suspension as well? Uh, front cab carrier, hub, uh, spring, steering box. Buy a steering box. Probably already got one on here, haven't we, now that I've done that. There, that's where it goes, okay. Uh, tighten U, is it just the one? Does appear to be just the one bolt holding that on. Fine. Fine. We're okay with that. Steering box. Steering column we don't need just yet steering link we can get is there another half to that doesn't appear to be uh, but it just hooks on there and the other half goes oh onto the uh, tie rod cool that makes sense when I was putting the tie rod on I was like that seems like it's to do with steering um, but it wasn't called the steering thing, so yeah, I was, I was a little confused. I do know some things about cars, honestly. I, I know it doesn't seem like it when I'm talking on these videos, but I do know some things. Um, right, so that should be the steering sorted now, when, once we've put the 
column in place. Um, that's it for front end, isn't it? I think it might be. Let's put the okay transfer cases in. So if we get the um, drive shafts in now, uh, let's see what ones it needs. It's not going to be suspension, is it? It's going to be in engine. I'd have thought. Oh no, it's not. It is suspension. Apparently, drive shafts are suspension. Right. I think we need all of them to be honest. So let's just buy them all. How am I doing for money, by the way? Twenty-four and a half grand. Okay. Need to keep an eye on that. Right, will this go? This will go in now. Lovely. <clears throat> and then this is going to be the front one, right? Yeah. Goes there. And the other end goes. There's no bolts on this end, okay. Fr friction fit. Fr that's fine. Friction fit's fine. I'm sure that's that's no problem at all. Uh, this one won't go in yet because we need a pumpkin first. Okay, so we now we have to choose a pumpkin. Do I have any? I do not. I have a transfer case though. I don't know why I've got a spare one of them. Right, let's buy a pumpkin. I can't remember what way around this is. I, every time I buy a pumpkin, I'm the same. So I'm guessing we just buy like a middle one because I don't need like highway stuff, but I also don't need like super high torque. I probably do actually without realizing it, but um, I think lower numbers are higher torque. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm right about that or not. So let's get a 3.8 locked because that seems to be in the middle. And locked seems to work better most of the time. Let's let's buy that. I put you guys can tell me in the comments why I'm totally wrong. Uh and that's fine. Because I know I am. Or at least I assume I am. Uh did I get that? I did get that. Cool. Right, that's that's the thing in, which means we can now do this. What? Oh, do I need a special drive shaft because it's the longer wheelbase? Drive shaft. Drive shaft long. Yeah, there we go. Man, I should have known. I should have known. There it goes. Beautiful. And again, friction fit on that side. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> Maybe we'll need that some other time. I don't know. Otherwise, we'll just sell it. Uh, right, you can go in there as well now. Jeez. Right, we're rattling through this. Um, that's going to do it for today's episode. So, yeah, thank you so much for, for watching. Um, if you enjoyed yourself, please leave a like and a comment. Um, don't forget in the, in the description we've got links to Discord and merch and that kind of thing. Um, and, yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! <laughs>